Blackburn Helmet Lab and we're about to release our Snow Sport Helmet Ratings. Our initial release includes 35 helmets that we chose to represent a variety of costs, brands, and anti-rotation technology. There's a standard which specifies whether or not a helmet's safe to be sold, but that's just talking about catastrophic injury. This program tells people which helmet's safer than the other helmet, so they can make informed decisions when purchasing a helmet. The first thing we needed to do is figure out how skiers and snowboarders hit their heads. So we worked with US Ski and Snow, and we took video of people falling during aerial events. We did advanced computer analysis to quantify impact conditions, figure out how hard they hit their head, where they hit their head. And then we took that information and we simulated in the laboratory. One of the most important elements of our test protocol is simulating that impact surface. Surface friction is a really important variable. So we have to worry about them hitting snow and ice, which is lower friction. Sometimes it's not compacted, sometimes it's really compacted. So we took all that into account as we developed those test methods. We didn't see a strong correlation with price and performance. Some of the best helmets, the top rated helmets, had similar price points as some of the helmets in the bottom half of the ratings. The top rated helmets did a really good job at limiting rotation of the head. And as performance decreased, we saw more and more rotation, but the linear forces rose too. When we got to the bottom of the list, those helmets had sharp edges and maybe more higher friction surfaces that increased rotation of the head and that showed in the ratings.